If you want to reconcile your inventory from the value entries up to the item ledger entries against the general ledger, I'll show you how to do it here. First of all, you have to make sure to run the cost batch job if you don't have automatically inventory posting. So in the inventory setup in here, there's a check mark saying automatic cost posting and there's an automatic cost adjustment always. If those are set to true and always here, you don't have to do anything. If not, you have to run the adjust cost entries batch job. So there's an adjust item entries, adjust cost item entries. That's a batch job that makes sure that all the item entries are adjusted and you can post those into the GL to make sure that everything is updated. When this is done, your GL should uh, be uh, reconciled or to fit to your inventory. So let's look into our chart of accounts. And here, and we go to the inventory accounts. We have, in this scenario, defined accounts for manufacturer, item, resales, raw materials, etc. And of course, total. And in this scenario, I don't have any manufacturing, therefore I don't have any work in progress, uh, in meaning my VAP account. So now there's a report called inventory valuation. This one. And this should show you on a whatever ending date you prefer. And of course, this should be the same date as you're using in your chart of accounts when viewing your entries. And you can see here the totals for your finished goods in here coming from the inventory posting group. This means it's a posting group finished goods. And there's a value of 100. 35,000. You can see on the raw material, we have to flip the sides here. There's some raw material on uh, 116,000. There's some resale a posting group, and there's a semi finished posting group in our scenario. And this has uh, each a value and it sums up to a total. And this total, all those amounts, should equal your amount here in the chart of account.